oil and water don't mix, but rain barrels and water mix quite a bit and they can save you some money, help the environment as well. And there's a big event coming up this weekend that can help you do that. Joining me right now is Nancy Kniff, publisher of Natural Awakenings Magazine. Your second year, right? It is. Congratulations. It is. And the man with the killer top 10 beard of all time, <laughs> uh, he has, he's not even here for facial hair. That's just a bonus. This is Andy Cochran from uh, Circle City Rain Barrels. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having us. Get, get some grooming tips. Uh, well, first, let's talk about EcoFest Indy. Uh, we, we had Earth Day, wonderful event, took place. This kind of taking it up a notch, right? Taking it up a notch. Uh, EcoFest Indy is sponsored by you. Natural Awakenings. <laughs> exactly. Yes, naturallygooddeals.com, mm. Indianapolis City Market, mm -hmm. and The Onion. And it's themed around- That onion? The onion. <laughs> okay. The, 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 the onion. The onion. Yes. All right, all right. And uh, it's themed around healthy living on a healthy planet. And one of the, as a lot of different aspects, right? I mean, this is, this is maybe something for people to appreciate what other people are doing as far as being more eco-friendly, but also for maybe novices or people wishing to do better, getting motivated, getting some ideas, getting inspired, right? Absolutely. We've got a lot of activities for the day. Um, one of the big things that we have, we've closed off Market Street, mm -hmm. so uh, Pro Shred Security is going to be out offering free shredding for secure documents. Nice. So folks that have big boxes at home like I do that need to be shred. E-Scrap will be out there and they're going to take in old or broken electronics, cell phones, Great. computers, so people can bring those out. And we're also hosting a book drive for Indie Reads. Mm -hmm. So we want folks to be able to bring their books, new used books, and donate them to Indie Reads. Awesome, why are you laughing, Andy? <laughs> Just sit <laughs> over here listening to this thing the whole entire time. It's like, soothing, <laughs> it's awesome. It's really nice. I just hope everybody can hear us talking at home. Like, I all I hear is this right now. <laughs> but, but that can is- Can you an, hear me? That's an important, it's an important thing because it's one of those, you know, some people, well, I don't live, you said the hippies are here, you know, conversion break, we're gonna take over that sort of thing. If commuting on your bike isn't an option or you've already made some choice to live in the burbs and you, this is this is a step nearly everybody can do, Exactly. Right? You, did I brief you before on how to talk about these or not? Because that's exactly <laughs> what I like to say. This is a small do-it-yourself version of what you can do at home to mm -hmm. be able to one, conserve and harvest rainwater to be able to use at your garden or on your landscaping. Uh, if you have kids, Water sure. balloons. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Exactly. Wash your dog, you know, wash your car, anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a do it yourself. It's an easy do it yourself. Um, I do these barrels. Uh, I also offer a free install inside of 465. Nice. And a $20 install outside of. Um, and we'll be doing two workshops at EcoFest this weekend. Uh, 11.30 and probably like 2 o'clock. Uh, you can go online at ecofestindy.com. Mm -hmm. Pre-register for those, um, and then I'll be out there helping you learn how to make your own barrel. All you need to do is bring a smile and a good attitude, hopefully. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll teach you how to make your own, so that way you can also keep spreading that word of how to conserve water, and, which and is such well, a huge issue. And, and the water, the environment, the earth, it's all, it, it's, it's also, it saves money. This is sometimes I think oh, people yeah. think. It saves us all money. Yeah. I mean, not just you at your home. I mean, it takes a lot of water for all that water that goes in our sewage system mm -hmm. to be filtered and then shipped back out. So I know it's only a 55 gallon drum, and this is an upcycle by the way as well too. Sure. Um, this is an old food grade drum that now we've retrofitted into this. Mm -hmm. um, but it takes a lot of money to ship that water back out to us yeah. via the sewer system. Um, you know, you can imagine a million people get 55 gallons being saved. We're all saving money that way. It's not just you individually. It's, it's literally something falling free from the sky. <laughs> That's at <laughs> your exactly. I mean, <laughs> I mean folks come can on. Get more than one. Yeah, yeah you can get more than one. Three. And uh, you know, I've eventually moved this into larger systems, retrofitting homes with cisterns. You know, like sure, bigger and yeah. My grandparents always come. Well, I grew up on a cistern. Like, well, guess what? <laughs> your grandchildren are going to grow up on a cistern awesome. too. Just a little bit better technology. A little bit better, yeah, it, it's progressed. But not, not just, not yeah. ju it's not just rain barrels as well. It got some really cool offerings over there, Andy. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I was thinking, I was like, my goodness, you guys just aren't all about great information. You're also about great products. We've got Elizabeth joining us.